After we have the leaves cut, we're going to gather up our floral wire and I use 18 gauge floral wire, one for the main stem and then 20 gauge floral wire. So I just cut that into about five inch strips. You can adjust that length as you want to, but I found this to be a good length to fold into the whole leaf and then have enough left at the bottom to also attach to the main stem. So that's why it's a little bit longer than I would normally use to attach a leaf to the stem is because it is folded into the actual felt leaf shape itself and that wire that's folded in the middle allows us to bend and shape it however we want to so i just repeat this six times to where i have six uh, pieces of wire of that 20 gauge wire and then i'm going to take my felt leaves and i need a total of seven for this project and i am going to start attaching them to the wire so for this leaf, there is a flat side and then more of a rounded side. It's a subtle difference, but it does make enough of a difference to kind of pay attention to which side is on top. And we want the a flat, flatter side on top because that gives us a little bit of an allowance for the wire to go in and then fold and then create a nice like clean point right there at the top of this leaf shape. So for each of these leaves, we're putting that 20 gauge wire, which is the thinner wire into the hot glue. We just do a strip of hot glue straight down the middle, all the way down, place the wire on top and fold. And you can see this is real time. I am just allowing the glue to really harden all the way before I open the leaf back up. Once it's dry, then I can open the leaf and you can see the wire right now will just bend so well and look really cool to allow us, you know, to manipulate or use this leaf however we want to. So I repeat this uh, seven times, well six times on this skinny wire. Now I chose seven as my odd number for this leaf stem. You could do five, you could do three, you could do however many you wanted, but seven seemed to be a, a perfect number for me for this project because I want it to be like a big nice bunch of leaves as a filler for a bouquet. So I continue to do that, just add the strip of glue, put the wire on, and then make, give it plenty of time to harden. Now what happened here is I missed some of the glue. Actually, I think I opened it too early. Like I put the glue down, put the stem on top, and then I opened it before it had hardened. So what I'm going to do is just go back in there once I realized that it needed more glue and just add a little bit of glue right there in the middle. And that's where that detail tip hot glue gun really comes in handy because you can just stick a little bit of glue exactly where you want it and not worry about getting it other places. Um, I really like my Sherbonder detail tip. It makes a huge difference for felt flower making. So now I'm just going to give it plenty of time to harden right there and dry all the way so that when I open it back up, it is nice and secure and there's no wire showing. And I will say that happens to me fairly, fairly often where I have to go back and add a little bit of glue, like if a part of the wire is showing. So don't feel bad if that happens what? to you. Um, it's pretty normal, especially as we're getting the hang of how much glue to add. Really so um, just kind of do a quality a check there and you can see if any wire showing just add more glue. So you kind of get into a muscle memory, like a rhythm here as you do this repeated step. It also gives you some nice practice. The biggest tip I have for you is just to give it plenty of time, not rush it. You can put a little sewing clip on it to help hold it if you don't want to sit there and hold it as long yourself. So these tools, little like little clips come in handy. I like using them for things like that where I can just keep going. They almost act like my little fingers for me. Um, so like I said, it just... Just keep going and adding that wire under the leaves.
this is the 18 gauge main stem so this one will take a little bit more glue i put the same strip of glue down lay it on top and go ahead and fold it just to see how well it covers and you can adjust it later if you need to now i realized i put that stem almost too far to the top because it is a little bit thicker wire i wasn't quite used to using it but i just realized that i needed more glue so that's what i did um I went back with my hot glue gun and just added more glue all the way down that strip and folded the leaf back over. So this leaf shape that I designed is pretty wide, so it allows for that like folding um, to where it doesn't get too skinny. So we want a wide leaf shape for this. If you're adjusting this to like a different leaf shape that you already have, just kind of keep in mind that it works better with wider leaves because you are taking up some of the leaf shape by adding that wire and gluing it closed inside of that. So here's where we are going to start attaching all of the leaves. We have the main uh, leaf on the 18 gauge wire and then we have six more leaves on 20 gauge wire and we wanna bring it all together. So I am opening these leaves up, just checking to see if I need to fix anything and then I will start attaching them. Now I am ready to start attaching everything. So I like to put a little bit of washi tape at the top of my 18 gauge floral wire. And this just helps me for whatever reason, get the floral tape started. You can also hot glue the floral, floral tape straight to the wire, whatever works for you. I, I do think floral tape's a little finicky and hard to work with, but that, that washi tape at the top helps me to get the floral tape to attach and stick so that you can start twisting it around. So I just put one thin layer of washi tape right there at the top and this will not show because we're covering it with floral tape so this floral tape you start it at the top and you stretch it and that stretch kind of activates it it gets a little bit of stickiness to it not too much but enough to stick to itself so you're just twisting this around the wire and then as you want to you'll start adding the 20 gauge leaf stems to it so this is where you just kind of play around and just know that once all of these are on, you'll be able to adjust them quite a bit. So it's not going to look great right now. They might look kind of smashed together. But once you attach all of these to that 18 gauge wire, you'll be able to go back and bend them and get them to fit on the stem however you want to in kind of the direction sheet that you want to. So I add one and start twisting with the floral tape and I am just pulling and wrapping in whatever way I feel like is working at the time. As you go down the stem, you'll just add leaves and like I said, right here I realized, oops, I need to add a little bit more glue. No problem, just go in and do that and then you can attach it right onto the stem after that is dry. So you just keep adding individual stems and wrapping with floral tape as you go down and I do like them kind of bunched together. I try to alternate sides and then that way they're a little bit more balanced. So I just kind of played around with it as I went and kept working with the floral tape to attach all of these individual stems onto the one main stem. So you have just one main like stem uh, felt leaf bunch when you're done.
Once all the leaves are attached, I still use the floral tape to continue wrapping and moving my way down the stem just so it's more continuous look to where the whole stem is covered in floral tape and there's not any wire without it. And I like my stems to be about 10 inches long, so I just kind of keep going and is 10 inches. Um, and you can adjust that as you want to, but 10 inches is about how I like my stems to be. Um, and then I can cut them or trim them, trim them down for individual bouquets. Uh, so I just kind of keep wrapping. Now what I realized here is I was stacking my floral tape on itself. So I ended up unwrapping it and then wrapping more down into a spiral and made sure I was moving down the stem instead of accidentally stacking the floral tape on itself. So this is just a twirl motion. And then once you get to the end and have as much cover covered as you want to, um, you can just cut the floral tape and then cut the wire. Whenever it's cut to the length that you want, you can adjust everything at this point. And because of all the wires and the leaves and everything's nice and secure, we can just adjust the leaves and shape it however we want to for whatever project or bouquet we designed this felt leaf um, bunch for. So I hope that's helpful. Leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll make sure to reply. Let me know if you have any requests or things you'd like to learn how to make. And uh, thanks for crafting with me.